Well, February is Black History Month, and tonight we are learning about a project in Buffalo to bring attention to African American leaders and their contributions. The Albright Knox Art Gallery is working on a mural that would highlight 29 local and national civil rights leaders. News for us, Callan Gray joins us live with this new story at 10. Callan? Melina, the artist hopes to start working on this mural by the end of May to be finished by August, but the biggest task right now is narrowing down which current or past civil rights leaders will be depicted. They've already received more than 130 suggestions. The Michigan Street African American Heritage Corridor is known by landmarks including the Nash House and Colored Musicians Club. But soon, this 300 foot blank canvas at the corner of Michigan Avenue and East Ferry will transform the entryway of the corridor into a showcase of African American civil rights leaders. I think that this will be a real marker, a real moment where people sort of recognize that this is a space of cultural activity and that there's more to be had. The wall, which is nearly 11 feet high, surrounds the NFTA Cold Spring Bus Maintenance Depot across the street from Buffalo's oldest black church, Bethel AME. Albright Knox has been working for more than two years with Buffalo artist Chuck Tingley to come up with the project. This wall is broken up into 29 sections, and the goal is to turn each of these sections into a mural of a different civil rights leader. And they're looking for suggestions from the public on who should be depicted. National players and local players, um, past and present, uh, in this location, uh, we hope will really spur a really um, robust dialogue in our community about what civil rights has meant to them and what it continues to mean to them. The Michigan Street African American Heritage Corridor told us they'd like to see Niagara Movement founder Mary Talbert and Buffalo's first black architect John Brett, among others. You know, we know that no one wall is going to encapsulate the whole story of civil rights, right? So we, our hope is that this work is sort of chapter one in a multi-chapter book. The, the corridor has many spaces that are ripe for additional pieces of work. Again, Albright Knox is looking for past and current civil rights leaders. You can offer suggestions at a public meeting tomorrow evening at 6 o'clock at the Meriwether Library. Reporting live, Kellen Gray, News 4 at 10.